All right, my lovely people, welcome to J Progress Entertainment again. I want to know a thing, worried. Nobody now have to tell you, no. You know, now have to ask nobody because you know, already know how we got to work already. So, right now, we are going to mix up the gravy, take the meat off of the bone, and get straight to work. People, today, we are going to do a video, and that video I go about running off in a foreign country before you even think about you run off in the people in the country. J progress have a break down certain things to Uno. And then again, I know any country you know, jump straight away and run off you know, because you know, go up on a little holiday and you know, get a one visa. I mean I go tell you know, why. I now left you know, I and dry just so. Today me decided to do a regular thing. I now do my video me just did it and rare it. I go do a video in a regular morning routine. So this morning people, me rise up me there. Wash off my face, brush my teeth and bag of things so I'm going to eat some food So I have some overnight soup right here so. Some swim around soup Some seafood mix and some shrimp bag of sitting, sitting in there And then right here so again I have some Some swim around We well seasoned up already and we're in the freezer And I put it for the towel Because I decide to cut off of the, the whole heap of meat meat thing This area Some more pescatarian kind of thing for me Alright my people, me a listen a vid uh, um, a video on YouTube and I want big up mix up boss TV because I hear a thing me see the video on and I decide you know say the topic this one I have to go touch. A lot of bloggers use people content and get ideas from people content because they do it to me regular and I have to copyright up some of my thing them because they not like Acknowledge the other vloggers them because they feel like they might give them too much strength. But when you when you see a content pan a blogger thing we give you an idea or you come with a content based off our content from another blogger thing. Big up the blogger thing. Like how more and big up mix up boss right now. Cause this so me see this story and I say, yo bro, a real talk. I wanna know me get to work already. A realness round here, alright? Anyway, my people. Pan mix up boss thing, there is this brother ya. We go on the farm work program from Jamaica, got Canada, right? And the dog decides him to look a better life to himself and his family. So the dog run off. Anyway, the dog call in and I do an interview for mix up boss channel and I say him want some help in Canada, right? Because him not intend for just marry the woman for the sake of paperwork, to get himself straight. So the dog said just want some help for somebody Help him to get a steady work Where he can earn his own thing At the moment the dog said did the animal Do him thing With him family in there stay amongst him family and thing Him say no And this is the part where me I was I was kind of Narrate down a little bit Him say buck up on a woman In a Canada were willing to marry him him said the girl about 34 year old and him and I'm 34 bracket as well. But the man said never married the girl because the family them involved to like them a try push on the marriage for him. But brother, let me say this to you right now. Brother, I mean if you are listen, I mean no whole of people watch me thing. Brother, let me tell you this. You see if you go foreign, brother, and you make the decision to run off, in a, especially in a Canada, you already put yourself in a spot. If a woman in a Canada who is a citizen of Canada and thing willing to marry their brother, and you know say you run off with the intention to get yourself straight and sort out, right? You say you don't want to just marry that woman for papers. That is all right and well. You hear me I say? If you say you check for the woman and you are the woman the pan energy, because based on when saying when I talk to the girl before you even run off and him show the girl the orange and the girl say, well. Me can do that. You see me? So it's somebody this way and them they have energy already. So I not just paperwork. You know I chat up and I go on nothing. Brother, the problem why the brother say not really married is because one, the family are pushing on the marriage for him because the girl live with her parents. Same way. Red flag. But it can work wrong. If you say you're there foreign and you have ambition and you try to work your want to build up your thing and make your thing call it. Because watch you now. The girl live with her parents and them are push on certain things for you. And the girl, according to you, live in her mother's basement in Canada then. 
Make me ask you this now as a man who take the initiative to run off in a Canada. In a hard, difficult country like Canada, when you run off illegal. Because people, me go tell you this, I'm saying when you break it down. You have America, Canada, England, where Jamaicans visit the most. And where Jamaican take the chances the most on any one of them visa they are Jamaica want it right now. Right? Brother, you see England? One of the worst places to run off in. You hear me I say? You see Canada is the second run up with the worst place to run off in. You see if you want to run off in our country, go and go run off in America. Because it's easier for your connect. Rule number one in England. If you run off, nobody not to employ you because you have certain documentations where you have to have in England before you get any work at all. If you want to do a painting job or a landscaping on the side and sitting, sitting, you can't do it. And you can't get straight because first thing, oh, you're going to marry in England. Before you even marry, them have a record, a public record where you have a look on to see if you ever married, to see if you're straight, to see if you're anything. So your dog, me and your supper, you can't get straight, you know. But by many other means. You hear me I say? If you get straight, you have to think about if you breed a girl in England and get a pitney. And that will help you. But nobody think about you have a married like America and them place there and get straight. Canada is pretty much the same thing they run out. But there are other ways when you come here and have a permit already. Because if you have a permit already and you are proof you run off, look for an employer where you have interest in them. And they can also file on your behalf. And, and have you there extend your permit ray, 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 and your work legally until you start out yourself. But that employer has to be in a sector where they are already short staff and they don't have the people to employ within that country. In order for when they put in the application, the application get accepted and sit there. Because they must say, why me have to employ mechanic and me have so much mechanic in the country where an employer already and we're straight in the country. Why me go employ this hotel worker? Yeah, me have so much hotel worker in the country where straight and unemployed. So it have to be a sector where they have a shortage already. And then, it thing we got you. You hear me I say? Next thing again. When you check the thing, and you realize, say, you in a country like England or Canada where you so hard to get straight. You can't get straight in how many people get straight, but England, Canada, the hardest country them to get straight when they run off. You have to lucky. Monday they are 5, 10, 15 years and still not straight because it's hard. And you have to lucky and know how to get a road. Now, make nobody just tell about immigration law so. Because you know, just skip your visa or skip your permit and immigration law get your sort out. It's not so easy. Probably in America. America, you run off, you find a girl, you can't marry, no pit, no nothing, you're straight, you're good. You hear me? But, brother, back to you now. You find a woman in Canada. Right? And this woman look by you and tell her she's willing to marry you. And you're not going with that thing already. Alright? Boom! Then you check it out now and you find out say, the woman live with the parents in a basement. Brother, remember you say you don't want a woman for papers, you know? And you have the ambition and everything, you know? So why you never marry the girl and be that person to motivate the girl and elevate the girl and take her out of her parents' basement? Because remember, work, you want to work, you know? When you're married now, you think connect up, right? And you have the legal grounds of being in Canada if you can't go work. Why you not just go work now? Work your money, help the girl, take out her parents' basement, get somewhere rent, and you and the girl build life. If it work out, it work out. If it no work out, it no work out. But at the end of the day, you did run off for a reason, and the reason there was to get straight, and you still end up get straight. So, Although you say you didn't want no woman to marry you for paperwork, you still a look for a woman who set a certain way. Brother, if it's down to you, when a man a run off in a foreign country, you have, to have the mentality to work and to elevate yourself and the people them run you. You can't just want to run off and go rely upon people then. You did it with your family then? Boy, oh boy, every family different. But when you live, when you did it with family, brother, sometimes them get tired of you. Them get tired of you and you go slowly see it. So, me would I say to you now, my general, get the help where you can help, and there is ways around it. But all of the ways, them not easy. You hear me I say? But, you miss out because 
if the girl is good to go and is a, a you say it's a working girl but she live with her parents them you could have been that person to remove that girl from her basement and elevate the thing because one thing me can tell your brother about woman yes when you're there with a woman and a woman realize if you come in her life and be a changes in her life and a changes for the better all if that the woman name plan to stay with you she going to stay with you because she know that she going somewhere with you maybe the changes them not come as fast as all she want you know but one thing with a woman a woman always want more you know always but one thing don't feel like a woman an idiot and not know when them life a change a woman know when them life a change and them acknowledge that you see me so before anybody decide to go over run off no way brother sometime you have to know enough man run off of england and have to go back to them yard enough man run off of canada and have to go back to them yard and as easy as america is to get straight enough man run off of america and have to go back to them yard so running off in a foreign country is a decision where you have to really think about properly and the last set of people they move to convince of to run off is your family because when them tell you to run off and come with them there in a month or two you and them in a problem and you start face this struggle you get to me i say so when me did me listen to that thing here and me i say judge and know you know we know the thing rough and tough already in a jamaica my people right we know the thing already rough and tough in a jamaica but it's not a decision a person to take lightly when you're running off because you can't face life so hard if you're not careful you're mad out if you don't careful you're mad out well, I don't think there's enough people who don't know God far now who can't see them back. Some of them mad out people. Some of them dead. Some of them can't manage them run off and them can't manage the stress. They lick them brain. Some of them dead out there in the cold. Some of them dead out there being a homeless. A whole heap of thing reach them. Some of them dead from hunger. You hear me I say? So it's not a decision lightly, my people. So you don't listen to me. And you don't listen to me good. You see, before you run off in a foreign country, you don't do no research. You don't know exactly what it is about and what you're going to do and try to figure out an alternative route before you don't even make the run. You see, if you're chung and tough and gorilla like some man, all if you need to figure out nothing, you will survive. But, brother, obviously, from you come on a show publicly and do an interview like that. It means that things slowly get to you. You have the ambition, you have the mind and everything. But it means that things slowly get to you and you reach out for help. But, yes, when you have the mind to make it, brother, and listen to me good, you are going to make it by all means. All when all odds are against you. And sometimes, so when you're in this spot and I try to make it, everything now go work in your favor. So sometimes something I go reach and you have to go just accept it because of the spot where you're in at the time. And I always remember say somewhere along the line, things is gonna get better. And I want to know that. You see me? So before you go run off in any foreign country, you know, watch that video here. Yeah. And you watch it already, you know, share it to a friend, to a friend, to a friend, or anybody where you know, know make them have a look at it and them can think twice. I am not saying don't run off, but when you're going to run off, know what you're running into and remember that everything now going to be sweet and pretty and you're going to face some dreadful sitting out there. But remember, you're going to make some choices when now going to really in your favor because at the end of the day, all odds are against you. But just keep your focus on one day, things are going to get better. If you keep on the right path, believe me, people. You know, see what the vlog is about already. Me just there, I do some food and overnight soup, as me tell you know, because so we go to work, we know we waste food because we're not rich around here. You hear me, I say? So, me have me overnight swim around soup, me I warm it up, I eat me, I got that knock way. You see me? Then, me have some swim around over there, so I tow out, eat me, I go, eat me, I go chef down later. Do some little cleaning up and sitting, sitting, because we know we got to work already. We don't work with dirty place. And that's why another thing a man them for know. We know have to clean and tidy. Woman love that, believe. Yeah, man. So, and this is the thing that my people, and remember, March.
March is the plan for we get to 10k subscribers upon YouTube and the support that I have been getting from all the subscribers and people who are new viewers I welcome all new viewers, all new subscribers and the ones who have been there before I appreciate you guys so much and I have always have appreciate you guys you know I have been getting an overwhelming support it's, it's even beyond my imagination how fast my channel I grow but I guess the work proof for its work the work speaks for itself you get what I say? And that's why I'm not going to put in the work. And people, all comments are welcome. This is a one blogger, this is a one YouTuber, this is a one media person will welcome all comments. Whether you want good, bad, indifference, I don't care. Because it is your opinion. Your opinion of me is not really who I am. So all opinions are welcome on J Progress platform. Everybody welcome. It is a safe space for everybody. Even though we see people are posting in the comment section, but we don't know the media work already. Because opinion are going to intertwine and we are going to have a little vibe. But I saw the thing go. But people, remember, me I put in the work and me now stop putting in the work. So I'm going to do full no part and get me to 10k subscriber by March. Because it's a different ball game when we get there. Believe.